Uh, I am director Dantel Antonio. Uh, I am an African-American filmmaker. I am an entrepreneur. I am a father. I am a legend. I am a god. What is The Hopeless Journey? The Hopeless Journey is a powerful film uh, that deals with sex trafficking, deals with generational curse, and deals with a lot of other different things. But the whole factor of it is to re-empower our queens and our, our kings and to fight generation of curse so our, the generation now and next can be young gods. What are the things that motivate me? The things that are motiv that, what are the things that motivate me, huh? Hmm, life, uh, success, progression, uh, change, um, unity, yeah. How did I handle the stress? Mm. I actually just put this, I, I used the stress and I put it into the art, right? So uh, you, 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 if you look at the picture, you can see my stress because everything is in there. Um, I, didn't, I didn't really try to show it on my persons because I wanted to stay focused and I wanted to stay attentive. So um, yeah, I just kind of bounced my stress around. Um, going to Hollywood. Uh, it was a dope experience. Um, it was very frightening, but uplifting to be working hand in hand with a, a, a coloring company that big, Technicolor, and have an exact colorist who did Fences, Revenant, Split, and all these big other movies. And he also worked hand in hand with Steven Spielberg, which is the number one film director in the world. Man, that was a damn honor, you know? So, uh, and Technicolor treated me just like I, if I was Steven Spielberg. So it gave me hope. It gave me motivation, courage to keep going and not stop. My upbringing was, um, you know, it's kind of rough. You know, my mother was addicted to crack cocaine. Uh, she spent a lot of time in and out of prison. Like she did like, I think like eight years, nine years in prison. Um, and my biological dad was killed when I was one. Um, so, you know, me and my sister was in and out of foster care. But we was raised by like a village, you know, you could see because we got a little taste of every different world, you know, from um, Caucasian people raised us, black folks. So we was damn near every different race, you know, every different religion too, you know, so I got a taste of all different religions, so different walks of life. So, uh, yeah, I think it helped me and molded me to the person I am today. Did the hopeless journey come from? Uh, the hopeless journey came from uh, me just basically watching my mother and then also thinking about the times that we in and just to see different, you know, things happening in the world and it's like we quiet and everybody that know me, I always got to speak my mind. So it was just like me speaking my mind, but I also wanted to push the culture and uplift the culture. And I wanted to do a movie that uh, was emotionally impactful to the generation, but also give them strength to um, be able to move a mountain if they wanted to. Uh, the most notable reaction from the film will be all the screenings, you know, that was sold out, having people cry, like majority of the people cry, you know, and, and that was the emotion I was trying to um, inflict people with, if I could use that word like that, because even when writing the script, I kept rewriting it because I was like, it got to be powerful, it got to be emotional, it got to touch, you got to want to cry reading the script, so... So by the people in the audience crying, it's like, damn, I got my job done. And another thing, it was very difficult coming from the music video world, having uh, music videos be three minutes, and I got to keep audience attention for three minutes. So that's the only reason why The Hopeless Journey is 30-something, 40-something minutes, is because I didn't want to go all the way to two hours and not know if I could keep your people attention span. So by me using a lot of psychology that I used in the, in the time frame that I had, and I was able to trigger the emotions, I'm very happy. Um, I just want people to know, I just want people, especially in this young generation, don't be scared to be yourself and don't be scared to push the culture. Don't be scared to know that you're a God. You know, we was made out of his image, so we all are gods. And once you realize that you know like anything is possible, no one can stop you. Uh, and don't be scared to grow, you know, uh, I think people, underestimate the seed, right? You know, we seeds and it takes a lot of water, it takes a lot of time to grow and to be nurturing and be um, basically like be a tree of life, you know, and you can help other people, you can impact other people's lives just because of your growth and where you came from. You can also take life as like you've been a caterpillar and um, you got to go through them stages before you could be 
that butterfly, you know, fly around and see the world and see what the world has to offer, um, you know. And uh, I just feel don't don't allow nobody to hold you back or tell you what you can't and can't do or what what is unachievable. Like anything is possible, and you have that power. You have the power to push that button, push the world, push the mountain um, to go further than anyone has ever been. You have the power, and do not give nobody that power. Don't let nobody stop your shine. You a young king or you a young queen and you can do whatever you set your mind to. And that's what I want to show people with this film, uh, that they could be anything they want to be. We did this without the big studios. A lot of people told me I couldn't. A lot of people shut doors on me, you know what I'm saying? But them people know who they are. And look, they coming back around like, wow, he really pulled it off. I can't believe he pulled it off. You know, he a man of his word. So just be a man of your word and do what you say you're going to do. And that's it. You know, and a lot of people ain't going to support you. And if they don't support you, we ain't going to cry because there's millions of other people out there ready to support you. They just don't know you exist yet. So you got to figure out how to allow them to know that you're here, you know. And a lot of people not meant to go to the next level with you. So if they're not meant to go to the next level, cut them off. That's dead weight. All it's going to do is hold you back. You know, some of the people going to feel some type of way, but it is what it is. You know, because at the end of the day, you got to have your life as at best interest because nobody else will, you know. Um, so be great. You can do anything you want. I am director Dante Antonio, and this is my story.